Ari here from Surprise Groom. I'm in the Cooler Master Suite, and I'm actually going to be showing you their coolers right now. We've got a number of new coolers, starting with the ML series. This is their version two. Everything's upgraded. They've got upgraded fans, an upgraded radiator, uh, upgraded cooling block there. And this is going to be probably their top selling model. Moving on up, you've got the Illusion, which looks great. Of course, you've got that mirror finish, kind of got that infinite reflection in there. Performance should be about the same as their ML series. Uh, of course, you do pay a little bit more for the illusions. And then finally, this is something that I'm excited about, Cooler Master offering. They've got an LCD display on this model here. This you can program via your motherboard BIOS or Cooler Master software. You can have your own logo on there. You can have thermals displayed on there. This is going to come in at about $180 for the 240 version. There's also going to be a 260 or 360 version. These all use new upgraded fans with upgraded rifle bearings that are both quieter and provide higher airflow. You can take a look at their fans here. They actually have something really, really cool. This is what they're calling their static hub design. Look, the hub is not spinning. Okay, in a typical, in a typical fan, the hub spins, right? And I touch this, this is spinning around. They actually have kind of bored out the center of this fan so you can have the center of it lit up. So that is something I've never seen. I think that's new uh, to the market. Cooler Master's first to the market to be able to do that. So you have your fan spinning around, a static hub, very, very cool. They've also upgraded the frame lighting here. So you've got some lighting in that, the housing of your fan. So lots and lots of RGB effects there. That's gonna be called their Master Fan SF120M ARGB. A really, really cool look. Completely unique, nobody else on the market has something like that. And then of course they do have their air coolers. They have a low profile air cooler. This is their G400P. It's 58 millimeters tall. Now that's an older standard, but some cases still need a 58 millimeter tall cooler, so that's what you get here. Looks a lot like a lot of other coolers I've actually tested. Nice to see Cooler Master throwing their hat in the ring. This is an update to their Hyper 212, of course the best selling cooler in the world. What they've done, they've done a few things. First of all, the fan is better. It uses an improved rifle bearing. It's quieter. Uh, they've also massively improved the bracket. It's no longer the X bracket that would allow your cooler to kind of move around even after it's locked down. This one locks down and stays locked down. And, and, the, and the most important thing about it is keeping the price range at about $30 to $35. So it's a very cost conscious solution. Finally, we have their large coolers. Unfortunately, their prototype here doesn't have the dual fans that it's going to come with. So for about between $80 and $90, you're going to get the DT614 with dual fans. Now, the second fan is actually not attached to this prototype. They are, of course, targeting the NHD15 from Noctua. Looks a lot like it. But what's so different about this is, despite having a really cool panel, it's very easy to install because you can easily remove this panel and then get access to your fan installation, which of course you want to install through the top, and then to your brackets that attach to the motherboard. So a really innovative top panel that's both aesthetically pleasing and easy to use. And this is their V8 GTS ARGB, targeting around the $100 price point. This is both, both their highest performance and most aesthetically enhanced air cooler with the ARGB fans included. As always, if you like this content, please do like and subscribe, post your questions below, and I'll catch you soon.